Happy Wednesday, everybody. As you uh, wake up with us this morning, we want to know just how much sleep did you get last night? And typically, what, what is what you sort of aim for? Mm -hmm. uh, let us know. Chime in, uh, and we'll talk about it. It's because of a, a new study that shows a, a lot of folks who associate their 20s with, say, partying, staying up late, being fun and reckless and all those things. <laughs> Actually, there might be a change in that, because now it looks like today's 20-somethings are really more focused on getting a good night's sleep. Okay. Take a look. Younger folks are opting for an earlier bedtime. Let's connect the dots. The nights of staying out late could be a thing of the past. Experts say they're seeing a major rise in this age group preferring to take control of their bedtime routines. Rent Cafe reports people in their 20s reported getting an average of nine and a half hours of sleep every single night back in 2022. That's up by an hour compared to just 10 years ago. The average bedtime creeping away from 11 p.m. and closer to 9. The Wall Street Journal reports this has led to places like clubs and bars offering things like matinee dance parties and other daytime events. And that is Connecting the Dots. A matinee dance party. Oh, hey, not I'm up for matinee out. concerts. Oh, That's for uh -huh. sure. I know, right? I know. That's what I would like. I know, I know. I feel like people are now coming to our sleep like schedule now like i feel like it's now becoming a thing like people yes going to bed early oh, i don't think that early <laughs> i mean right. well i think i go to the bed earlier than all y'all at around 5 30 so wow. that'll do it all right take a look at some of the responses here i love a larry shout out the bozo bus Always. oh i think it flipped already too fast but <laughs> someone said that they didn't get enough sleep last night because larry and the bozo bus <laughs> <laughs> they have a tendency yes. to do that yeah this morning a lot of people were saying like four hours of sleep which I don't that's even know crazy. how that's possible. Um, I mean, I do as a parent, but like consistently <laughs> four hours, then you're just going to deteriorate. But it looks like we're getting more people chiming in saying, you know, five hours. Some people try to get eight hours. Um, yeah, I just feel like if you go a long time with not prioritizing your sleep, it's going to catch up with you mentally, physically. Do y'all see this person up at 3.30 in the morning? I mean, well, I, I wonder, we're up at, I get up at 2. I mean, well, I guess, I guess <laughs> I would assume then, I, I wrongfully assume this person might be on like a normal work schedule. Probably. Otherwise, what are you doing at 3.30 a.m.? It's funny, when I drive into work and I'm like, there's, you know, more cars than you would think on the road, sometimes I do see the same ones and I'm like, yeah. they're going into work just like me. Same. I wonder um, what they do. Yeah, exactly. They're a nurse or something. Like, right. Uh, who, who else drives to work in the middle of the night? John Kelly uh, chiming in saying seven to eight hours. That's good. Nice. Uh, Melissa saying way past my 20s, but I, I get nine hours at least. I go to bed around 7.30 and wake up at 5.30. Nice. My kids sleep 11 hours a night. They're 13 and 10. Well, they probably Ki need, kids probably need yeah. more sleep. <laughs> they and, do. And so sometimes I struggle with like these extracurricular activities where they try to push things late and they can't help what time they get up for school if the school bus comes at like 6.30 or 6.45. So the kids have to get up at 6. But then they have these extracurriculars that go late and I'm like, but their sleep, like we're going to, you know, it's so important, so vital. Leah, yeah, two to like four hours. Time to do homework. Come on now. Two hours? Two to four hours. How are you alive? No. No way. Are you well? Um, <laughs> I say, we I try have, to do it after, right after school. Yeah, but get it done. It's like you're trying to yeah. figure it out. <laughs> I would say I always get eight hours if I don't work the morning shift. Morning <laughs> right. shift, it's like. Yeah, throws a wrench in those plans. Yeah, four or five. So, oh so, my goodness. Well, and then you try to take a nap. So then do you just count all the yeah. your nap with your sleep? I think doctors say that does not doctors, count. I know. I know. I know. Oh, that's what you do, and you've done it for I, years. I, I've done it for years, but like it's. I don't think that's good for you, though, Ben. I don't think so either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> I, I agree with you. Um, <laughs> the thing is, I think. And I hope this is changing with society, but I feel like for a long time it was almost like a status symbol. Like, oh, yeah. oh I only get five hours of sleep. Or, oh, and it's yeah, like, totally. It's like, I think now people are coming around realizing that's like bragging that, that, that you eat McDonald's for every meal. Like, that's it's not a, a weird flex. It's, 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 yeah, it's a or weird Or like how people brag flex. about being so busy. Yeah, it's like that's not um, something you want to aim for. Yeah. That's, not, that's not right. Exactly. a good thing. I brag about boundaries. Yeah. I'm going to bed. And that's uh, that. I love boundaries. I love boundaries. Um, so I think. Yeah, it's I mean, like for, bragging about not taking like time off of work. It's like yeah. I haven't taken PTO and. Well, then you don't have a balanced like, life. Yeah, yeah totally. totally. You wasting um, your time. Um, yeah. uh, let's see. Joy chiming in saying I get eight hours. Kelsey says I'm a napper. 
Emma, most weeknights, six to seven hours, uh, but eight plus on weekends. I blame grad school once again. Um, I, I'm definitely that way. During the week, especially on this schedule, I, will, I try to get enough sleep, but I get less. Mm -hmm. But it's like on Friday nights and Saturday, like, I can't, don't even ask me to do anything. I can't. I can barely stay awake on Friday night, <laughs> and I fall asleep, and I will sleep as long as I can, yeah. as long I, as my children I'm let I usually <laughs> wake up around 3 a.m. on Saturday mornings, just out of habit. You know, do you the, go back to bed then? Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely. I, yeah. I usually, good or not, I usually take another melatonin at that time and like mm -hmm. sleep for. Because um, as I, I say to Brad, like on the weekends, I have got to have restorative sleep. Yeah. Like you yeah. know, because he, can't come back he wakes to up the at the same time, seven days a week. So he wakes up at like five thirty on a Saturday, and he's like, "Hey, let's go." And I'm like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's like, like my I, children. <laughs> I basically yes. Uh, he and Scout are ready to go. I'm like, no, I'm not getting out of bed before uh, seven on Saturday. Yeah. Like I've got to. Yeah, it's important. It, it is really important. is for your overall health, and I think we're knowing we're hearing that more and more from scientists that like you know, yeah. getting eight or nine hours, and if you can, this is a true luxury that I, that I'm so envious of people who, who do this like Brad. You you have the same sleep pattern seven yes. days a week. Yes. If you can do that. Oh, I think wow. that's so good for your body. It is. Yeah. Because um, we're talking about like health things that can affect your health in the long run. Mm -hmm. Totally. Like you're running on a treadmill going 100 miles per hour, like eventually it's going to catch up with you. 100%. Yeah. Exactly. It catches up every weekend. We yeah. probably take down like 11-ish <laughs> yeah. hours of sleep Friday and a Saturday. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. hard. Your body needs it. Exactly. Yeah. All right, folks, chime in. Let us know. How many hours of sleep do you get a night? There's no right or wrong answer. Just let uh. us know. And we'll see you back here tomorrow morning for another edition of WCNC Charlotte to go.